I was in college when I started to uncover my identity. I really didn't have the experience or the vocabulary to understand what I was going through or who I was. I always felt a disconnect with my body and the most apparent issue was with my chest. I initially started binding with chest compression garments made for cis men. But as I started stepping into myself, I realized it just wasn't enough. I knew I could use my skill set to design a better binder. Whether you're trans or non-binary, a chest binder can help you align with who you are. When you're aligned with who you are, you have the ability to do whatever you want. Whether that's going to the gym, going on a date, or even just walking down the street feeling safe. Near the end of senior year, I didn't really know what the future held for me. What I did have was this binder and the design, and I knew that more people needed this besides myself. A month or two after starting GC2B, I started to receive emails and these very emotional videos. It's nice and flat, which is, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, um, it's amazing how one little thing uh, will change your life. I realized what I had was more than a job and was more than a product. I had the opportunity to use my design to make people's lives better. I knew that there were a lot more people like me where in their early transition, they didn't necessarily have the experience or vocabulary to identify or find what they were looking for. That's why I wanted to ensure that GC2B was accessible and searchable globally. What's up, Philly? We're in the building. GC2B. It's important for me specifically as a Latinx and black trans man to make sure that I'm using my platform and my privilege to do what I can to help my black trans community by donating directly to organizations that focus on the safety and liberation of Black trans people. It's really important for the Black trans community to collaborate because at the end of the day, we know that we can count on each other. And so having donations and support from GC2B really gives us the Marsha P. Johnson Institute the opportunity to fight and demand more space for Black trans people to have access to our dreams, to have access to physical space, to keep ourselves safe from not only harm, but our own doubts about what's possible for ourselves and our communities. This is a fight for all of our lives, but no matter what comes our way, we continue to love. And that is what gives me the most hope when I think about the resilience and the brilliance of the Black trans community.